morning. It's Friday, September 29th, and I'm just documenting how things are going. Uh, trying to navigate resources and life and relationships and all of the things um, right now. <sighs> Let's see. I tried to go on a um, Zoom meeting for um, the Lane Council of Governance last night for the board meeting. I'm interested in the advisory council and how it is that this volunteer organization um, seems to operate at a state level and has much control over the senior and disability services in the ADRC. I think it's the Aging and Disability Resource Center. I'm not sure if there's a difference there or not. It's all very confusing, especially for a disabled person. Um, but I am trying to sort it out and I'm trying to understand the process, I'm trying to inform the process, and I'm trying to get some transparency and accountability because I don't understand this organization. Um, it seems like it's in the same capacity in a certain way as an organization like the Fed, which is a private entity that then directs our government. So who is this LCOG? Um, and how is it that they see fit to direct, um, particularly for disabled and elders in our community? And if you are paying attention, you might notice that a large portion of the unhoused people in this community are disabled, are elderly, and, um, it seems to me that how we treat people is reflective upon us. So I'm really wondering about LCOG and how it is that they're directing the county, the city, the state, how, however it works. Um, so having gone on that meeting and then all of a sudden the entire meeting was disrupted on Zoom with all this porn and hate speech and... So many interesting things came through on that Zoom meeting. And then they kicked off basically anyone who wasn't the board member. And I did not get to see the last item. I didn't, I was unable to have any access, no transparency for the rest of the meeting. One of the items, which was, I believe the last item was the um, advisory council for the senior and disability services uh, advisory council through LCOG. And I had applied for that. Um, I don't think I've heard back from them recently. And I was wondering about it. It's one of the reasons I went on the meeting. Um, I think that I could really help inform the process as I've been documenting my journey, the eight months I've been trying to navigate services here in Lane County with my disability in place when I came here and how very, very challenging that's been. So anyways, that's my experience. Um, I have made some other posts on Facebook uh, to show you the screenshot that I was able to get. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully that will all be looked into. Clearly, there's some issue with their IT stuff. In fact, if you are able to listen to a recorded copy of that, which would have to be redacted, I'm guessing, because of all the porn and hate speech, um, you would hear me come off of my microphone and say, who, what, what's going on with your IT? What's, what's with your internet security? Um, who does your internet? Who does it? And someone from LCOG, I believe it was Brenda Wilson, Wilson, the executive director said, we do. Now think for yourself, would that be acceptable for their security to be that easily breached? where they have access to all of this information through the government, and that's where their IT security is. I think we really need to think about that. How much money are they getting, and what are they doing with it that they're paying themselves to do whatever they're doing with the IT there? And um, I don't know what planet you're on, but planet Earth that I'm on right now requires a little bit more security uh, for things like that, especially for an organization that has uh, all of their hands and all kinds of government things and money. 
Um, we need some more accountability and transparency um, at that organization and at the government. Seriously. So um, I don't know, but that's just my experience. I'm trying to get on these advisory councils so I can help inform the process. Real, real life data coming at them live. And I'm feeling like they don't want it. So anyways, pray for me, y'all, because I'm really, really, really trying to help. And this is amazingly frustrating. Like, it's on purpose. So anyways, I'm going to keep rolling. I'm going to keep doing what I do. Um, and I hope that everyone else starts recording and starts getting involved in their community, too, because that's the only way these tables of oppression are going to get flipped over is if we all working together. So peace. Love y'all.